fake deed, fake property registration in Bade Asaka local subset. Houses are getting dispossessed under this racket of fake deeds inserted in the archives and sub registrar of Mapsa in conclusion with Mamledar from Bartes, they alleged. They also alleged that many properties are being muted mutated in the name of these fraudsters and have all the documents to prove that the properties are transferred fraudulently. We noticed that uh, uh, his uh, major properties, about three properties are already somebody has captured. So we have no defense since uh, every government office is not helping us. So now now our, our Christian Dias, who is a lawyer, she is helping us to get justice. Uh, the survey number where I reside, that is 39 Oblique 4, including my grandfather's property, which is survey number 31 Oblique 2. So when we came to know about this, we have also filed an objection on 29th of March, uh, after which on 30th of March, similar thing has taken place wherein uh, mutation proceeding they have applied for. So now uh, we had two hearings for which we had to go by which the Mamledar as well as the opposite party they were not present. So third date is given to us on 8th of June. This plot was already put out for sale and you were given a 15 days notice to clear all the things. It was my friend Nelson's son who saw it and informed my daughter because I am in Dubai and then from there we spoke to Christine and we started the procedure to get it back. Now we, we came to know somewhere on 7th or something of uh, April. How much can you say? Not for sale with a 15 days notice. Now uh, I have one suggestion is we also go through the economic offenses wing because this is a massive fraud. No? We can approach them also. 29th of March, we put the objection. On the 30th of March, there was a sale deed registered to the buyer named Lenchu K. James. Right? And as Christine said, the Mamledar was wanting to expedite certain cases within seven days. But for my case, I haven't got a hearing initially. The first initial hearing was not up to two weeks. Right? He was not giving me a hearing date of two weeks. Only when Christine intervened, they formally said that they would give us a date. So, there's a lack of procedure for sure. There might be some self-vested interest for sure because in certain cases they want to expedite it, in certain cases they don't want to do it. According to these deeds, which is accepted by the revenue authorities, are based on facts or sold by people who were not even in existence at that point of time. Basically what they are doing, they are taking the Form 1 and 14 of the present owners, inserting those names in the 1951 deeds, and executing these deeds of sale, subsequently on basis of succession deeds, and totally, and all mut mutation proceedings are without any procedure. Prakash Karikar for Herald TV.